Hi, Lou here. Summertime, but I'm still grinding away, getting ready for Hockey Academy in the fall at Bellina Secondary. This one's called Post to Arc, Three Spot Both Sides. Comes to me via Nolan Kursiba and a great goaltending drill. Uh, works on movement and angles and uh, forces the goalie to take a, a very direct line from his or her starting spot uh, to where they're going to face the shooter. So it's set up with sort of three shooting spots, both sides, three pucks per spot, and you're going to start at the top, three shots, then three shots, three shots, then go to the other side, three, three, and three. At this point, the goalie should be really tired. Uh, it's heavy on the movement, and uh, at this point, it would be great to have three or four other stations, and they rotate out. So the goalie starts in a good, strong position, tight to the post, and on either a command by the shooter and or the goalie can initiate the start himself. He's going to drive out very, very hard and take a good line uh, so that he's in a good position somewhere outside the arc and the shooter should be maybe 15 to 20 feet from the net. Once the goalie comes to a stop, the player's going to shoot the puck and uh, you may want to work on one side or the other or just sort of take what he or she gives you. The better goalies, if you want, you can play the rebound. You may decide to take a shot and then bang it off a pad and then play the rebound and that'll get further movement going. A key for the goalie is to try and get out as quickly as possible but under control uh, and not drop early as soon as the guy leans on the stick. A really great drill as far as movement and finding angles for a young goalie. Uh, they may be really out of position and before you even shoot you want to just stop it, readjust and sort of get them comfortable where, where they're at. So this one's called post to arc three spot both sides and uh, just one of the many shooting drills that I get from Nolan Kasiba from Tech Mob. Take care. Lou out. Thanks for listening.